So today we're going to touch a very a segment that I've been studying a little bit extra, okay? And I'll tell you why. We're going to talk about the billionaire's robe. Hmm. Wait a let a little like <laughs> <laughs> luxury you just bought a villa, right? Yes. Yes. And that was not with me. <laughs> <laughs> you just bought a villa on the beach. I did, yes, yes. yes. So, it, it, you want, why not Damak this time? Who said I'm not going to buy Damak? No, I mean, why not first Damak? See, it was always a dream to have a villa on the beach, but I have complete intentions to... Because see, Damak, the mansion... So, I, I was discussing what... I was studying, you know, a lot of mansions in Dubai, right? The V55... V75, E1000, uh, with Tamak. Then there was Oasis by Ima. There was in Acres and Nal Shiba Gardens by Miras. Uh, then Palm Jubal Ali, Dubai Islands. So I've been studying all mansions in the market. I particularly love the V75. I've been, my, my brain <laughs> is fixated onto the V75. I, because from the time I went to that property, so that's a property I would love to buy and live for myself. A property like that because see, Dubai is all about networking. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. imagine having a place like that. I'd be hosting lunches, events, everything in my, you know, if you're not parking, maybe I'll have a nice fancy car that revolving <laughs> there. <laughs> I was like, you're going to use the whole seven parking spots. In the car, they'll be like MZ, it looked like a Batmobile. <laughs> you know, you know? Oh, that's a nice goal to have. Right? So so that that's the plan, you know. Um, I, I completely... Can I tell you a story? Tell me. Yeah. It's just, I just want to tell a story you know, for the audience as well. Um, it's about mindset. So I have, I have two mentors, yeah, two people that really inspire me a lot. So one guy, have you, have you know the company OBG? Yeah. So the owner of OBG, Umar Farooq, he's the first guy who hired me in Dubai <laughs> Real Estate. You know, so he was the sales manager of Hamptons. And Hamptons were the best business ever. You know, I think, I personally think, I think it's, Hamptons was a brand then. You know, Hamptons and Better Homes were the, were the number one. Like No one can touch them. I think then it was Hamptons. Better Homes and Sherwoods also is not bad, but we were very, very strong. How OBG has reached, it's, it's doing really well, right? It's doing mm. really well. The projects that they have, is doing, they're doing really well. It was all by the mindset of a person, right? Similarly, there's another guy, nobody knows about this guy, okay? So one of the biggest transactions I've closed is, um, are you bored? <laughs> <laughs> are you texting your audience right now? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so so I swear this is worth it. It's worth it. I'm coming to a point. I'm coming to a point. So one of the biggest transactions I've closed. Uh, there was these two buildings I closed back. This was back in 2013. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I remember this way. 120, Six. 126 million somewhere. Okay. This guy who bought it, Indian guy from Bangalore. I think he decided in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I'm going to in two weeks to Bangalore. I can meet him again. I can send Five him minutes. some damage. <laughs> so now, now this guy. So in 2013, I remember it was an office like this, and we were sitting. We were going to start up a company. He, he was just going to start a company. He took, he took a loan of hundred million what? from a guy from Delhi, a gold trader, and. And I was like, are you mad? You know, what's wrong with you? Why would you do that? And he's like, people have a wrong concept about stress. Stress propels you, right? Like if I'm complacent, I'm happy, I'm adjusting. I'll never push myself forward, you know? And I was like, this guy's crazy. You know, he's, he's absolutely crazy. So this company was controlling the market in 2013. You know, uh, he controlled JV. He was a land bank. So today, this guy... His name is Samir Munshi. So today, this guy, <laughs> he's not even to normal real estate. You know? He owns multiple lands. You know, he just does joint ventures with different developers. Point where I'm coming is that I also want to, it's, mm -hmm. it's not just about one villa. I want to get into multiple properties like these mansions, you know, where because I'm like, why limit myself? So people are like, oh, very good. You know, why didn't you? And I'm like, hey, why do you think I'm not going to buy a Damak mansion? You know, I'm going to buy a couple of pro a couple of properties, you know, and I want to share my journey. There, is, there are so much of, you know, right? There are so many plans, right? There are so many plans. And I want to share that journey online, you know, something different, something different because people are going to see that growth, you know. 
It's also like you inspire people and it makes sense. Right. So I want to show that, you know, anything is possible. You're just, you've got a limiting mindset. Human beings tend to have a very limiting mindset. <laughs> you can achieve whatever you want, you know. G-Wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Not this one, please. <laughs> G-Wagon. A uh, couple of mansions. Escalator. Huh? Escalator. Es- <laughs> she, she calls the escalator escalator. <laughs> no, okay. So, okay. I think I just drifted off topic. So that was the, that's the idea. No, it's not just, I, I love the Damac mansion. I love the V75. I think it's a perfect product to trade and, um, and live. You know, I would, uh, I will stay there all the time. Now, of course, on the table, I'm getting the chance to have different kinds of people with different kinds of budgets, different kinds of mind- mindset. Okay. If you are an investor, I will expect you to have in a portfolio already a few properties, different projects, different locations. And I'll expect you, if you are on the table, you're going to buy in a bulk. Correct. What we consider. Correct. That is, for me, the definition of an investor. Now, as an investor, you can buy in a bulk, small units, several units, because that's the mindset that's the strategy it you did that it worked for you correct and this it was working quite well in dubai actually yes yes a few years ago you know you could you could have made money also with the studio Easily. like one bedroom yes, apartment right yes, yes. and you did that that was your strategy as a as a realtor correct on the market and correct. it was working very very good correct right now i don't necessarily believe in that anymore me too because of the supply and demand honestly the prices have increased. see earlier like you could buy a one bed for 800,000 to 1 million dirhams. An expensive one bed was 1. 1.3, 1. 1.4. It's sure. like, oh my God, very expensive one bed. To this one beds have reached like 1.4, uh, sorry, 1.8, 2 million dirhams, 2.1, 2.2. Even 2. as a starting price. Right? Yeah. So I'm losing. So this is precisely why I got into the segment. That's why we're discussing today the ultra luxury segment. Because the normal market segment uh, has reached like, for example, 2021, there were some areas I was targeting, I was focusing on okay. uh, Dubai Creek Harbor. It was at the beginning, it makes sense. Right? Dubai Creek, Rashid Yachts and Marina, Shoba Heartland. These were very interesting. The prices were so good. But now, even Damak Hills, there was, you know, Silver Silver Springs? It was you such good deals, right? Money those units are making Damak right Lagoons, yeah. you know, like uh, it's it's uh, Damak Cavalli Bay, people who invested earlier. At the beginning. At the beginning. Right. It was, it was actually a really good product. So it's like uh, now all those products have reached when I was trading them, it was around 1,800 dirham per square foot. Now it's going towards the 2,800, yeah. 3,000 dirham yeah. per square foot. I feel like, but the ultra luxury segment. It has a story. It has space. Yes. By like, what are the ultra luxury segments in the in the market today? Um, depends from developer to developer, okay. but as per definition, we're going to speak about mansions. If you want to take any category of uh, villa, wherever, okay. but mansions, it has to be mansion. And as per uh, residential apartments, it has to be a penthouse. Okay. Now, if you look a little bit to the market, either, either as a permit, what's the definition of a penthouse? You have two to five percent as penthouses on the market. Okay. Then if you look at mansions, you're going to have exactly the same story. Okay. For me, a mansion is a mansion with basement access, with the elevator mandatory. Absolutely. Now, <laughs> on the other side, yeah. one, one means luxury. The definition will be proximity and exclusivity. Right. As a mansion, myself in the mark, I do have something on the beach and I do have something on the golf course. Okay. 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 Proximity being exactly the hottest spot in that community. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know very well, we are not speaking about mansions or villas in Marina or Burj Khalifa. That's another se- segment. Correct. If we are speaking on the other side in penthouses, I do have a lot of branded apartments where I can give you something as a penthouse. In Jamak, the penthouses could be simplex, duplex, or even I have some ideas, some f- options as a triplex. But for me, a penthouse, it's something with a pool on the balcony in Jamak. And for me, a penthouse in Jamak, is something that I have it in the branded towers. You know, I, I've spoken a lot against pool and balconies in Dubai. But that's another segment. True. See, like, now this is a very interesting point. Because there are a lot of developers t- in tier two locations, 
So I made this video once, okay? <laughs> Very controversial. I couldn't post it. But so this is one tier two developer. I mean, I'm not joking. He was selling studios and one beds with pools, okay? And there was this this jacuzzi from Dragon Mart. <laughs> <laughs> balcony. And I am looking at it and I'm in shock and I'm like, I should post this. It'll go viral. Like literally that was a jacuzzi from yeah. Dragon Mart, right? Yeah. But I know the difference between a high-end plunge pool in the balcony to a jacuzzi in the... We are speaking about a proper pool, which normally in the market is 2.5 by 5.5, more or less. It's a good size. So it's a good size for something that we call residential apartment, right. okay? It's a residential. Now, I do have a lot of options. For example, Bay. You spoke about Bay. I do have there one bedroom, two bedroom, three bedroom, four bedroom. And they have also penthouses. Right. All the time, the penthouses, I'm going to keep them in a higher floor. Why? Because you're buying also views. It's not only about exclusivity. It's not only about proximity. But I will add also the views. Mm -hmm. uh, if it's branded, that's going to make a difference. Of course. Of course. But, but I have another product in the mark. It's very fresh on the market we came with another version of cavalli it's couture by cavalli you know so this is funny for me cavalli used to be very bling so i used to be like well, i wonder who buys this you know very very arabic chinese indian buyers you sure. know i think it was Russian, yeah, yeah. but cavalli couture was 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 beautiful. It was very nice. I was surprised. I saw, I don't know how many kinds of marble was there in, in Cavalli uh, Couture? Above 300 types of different it marbles. Was insane. It was insane. beautiful. Marble. I loved the finishes of Cavalli Couture. It was really, really nice. It's a mix of um, marble, wood, and art. Right. It's the first time when we really go very deep into details. Right. I know the brand even of the couch in the reception. Now, why I love this, pri this, uh, this project very much, I told you we are speaking about exclusivity in a luxurious product. Right. Actually, the market is building luxury and super luxury. Luxury going to be you taking in bay, one, two, three bedroom apartment. Super luxury is whatever is coming with the pool on the, uh, okay. on the balcony. That's why we call it as a penthouse. But in my system, it's super luxury. Okay. Now, Couture by Cavalli, it's coming exclusively in the super luxury segment. We are speaking about penthouses only, 95 units, uh, simplex, duplex, and triplex. I have only uh, two units, triplex, which are the biggest penthouses. You know why, for me, this is ultra luxury? Now, for me, see, the ultra luxury products in Dubai, see, a lot of investors have told me this, that Dubai has not seen ultra luxury. It's very rare. Right. Now, I think right now the products in Ultra Luxury are Royal Atlantis, yeah. Juan Zabil, mm -hmm. Dorchester by yeah. Omniat. I think these are the Ultra Luxury. And one by Omniat as a ready product, yes. Uh, same, uh, Dorchester. Yeah. That's also Dorchester, right? Now, my only issue with Dorchester was actually the location. <laughs> like, for me, it was very funny. Um, like, in business, be like when I was at that site, Again, it was phenomenal. The entrance, the services, again, it was phenomenal. But then, technically, if I'm at that pool, right in front of me was uh, Damak Maison. <laughs> Maison, yeah. Right? We've... Right in front. So, it, it, you know, it just didn't, you know, the, I think that yeah. location, it was a brilliant product in the wrong place. The location you guys have chosen are very, is very interesting. It's now what, it's called the Billionaire's Row. It's calling the Billionaire's Row basically at the entrance of the canal right. till something before Safa 2, like right. till the point where Safa Park will gonna, gonna end. However, me and Zamak, I consider Doncaster. As my competition, okay. I do take that in consideration. But as you said, the location is completely different. Correct. Uh, by whatever they're trying to call right now, a uh, billionaire row on this canal side is not part of that. But as a price point, is it there? So is the, the couture, is, it is on Billionaire's Row? Yes, it is it's on in the middle Row. of that. It's right in the middle of Billionaire's Row. Yeah. So we're talking about Mr. C residences, mm -hmm. Four Seasons. See, now this is the gap I was talking about. Royal Atlantis, One Zabil, Dorchester is trading somewhere at around what, 9,000, 10,000 dirham per square foot? Yeah. Right? Approximately. 
Mr. C, 14,000. Four seasons, 14,000 dirham per yes. square foot. And how much is the max selling at? 5,000. 5, <laughs> 5,500. I think this is why, you know, I, I've been going a lot to the max recently. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I told you even uh, last time, we are trying to enter a fresh market right now. Right. And we do have experience with a lot of investors. Right. But we had experience with those investors that are coming with 100, 200 million in the market, bond deals, they're buying full cluster, half cluster, right? Correct. We are trying to change I a little bit. I face that in Violet. <laughs> <laughs> I face, you know, I, I go in that my... That guy who bought uh, 100 units. I, I, I went to, I went to, in my video, I was saying, hey, you know, let's pick up corner units. And then <laughs> I go on the Violet launch, sold out. All, all the entire, all the single row of it. So that's phenomenal. Yeah. You guys sold out in what, one and a half hours? Yeah. Two hours? It's, it's normal for Damag lately. But look, you know what you're doing. Right. You go to a product, you're looking, okay, so I have a townhouse. What are the, what I going to have to pitch? Right. Corner, single row, the best, right? Correct. I had, as a corner, that's a matter of single row or back to back. Yeah. 11% of the inventory. Someone has to lose. Mm, yeah, yeah, that's true. The thing is, losing for me, it's still making money. I'm giving you a very good unit, middle, middle unit, and you're still going to make money. How much money did Amak pick that day? <laughs> <laughs> 1.7? Billion? Mm -hmm. 1.7 billion in one day. Yeah. You know, what is commendable is, now products around that area, I've not seen anything sell out the speed in which the max sold out. That's a very big positive sign. That's yes. a very positive sign. That means I can deliver. Now I'm giving you, I do have a lot of experience to generate that kind of hype and those kind of sales in a day. The biggest number I did in a day, it was almost 5.3 billion for Riverside. That was the biggest. 5.3 billion yes. in one day? Yes. Wow. And, yes. And, so, and, and people still question the market of Dubai. But the checks were... 5.3 billion in one, <laughs> one day, day, one developer. Yes. Wow. Yes. And people are still asking me for four bedroom. I, I know how to, to create a hype around those kind of projects. Right. Now, I want my investors and I want my agents to understand how powerful is the fact that the Mac is going into luxury. We of are course. trying to be very, very competitive with the prices because we are entering the market right now. We started to put something this high on the market last year. Okay? Which was that? Actually, the first Sa one was the first Safa? one was Cavalli Tower. 